Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give his address, may I invite his Lordship, Honorable Justice Lukayode Ariwola, GCON, Chief Justice of Nigeria. Let us be seated, please. Your Excellencies, Governor, your son, Wiki, C-O-N, Clive Benchard. Your Excellency, my Lord, the wife of the Governor of River State, Honorable Justice Wiki, other Excellencies, of I understand the integrity group. My lords, Justices of the Supreme Court, serving and retired. My Lords of the Court of Appeal. My Lords, heads of courts of various jurisdictions. Our royal fathers. other eminent and distinguished guests, particularly the senior advocates of Nigeria, members of the Executive Council, ladies and gentlemen. I must say that I never knew until I was approaching this venue that the dinner for tonight, which my governor called Gala Night, was indeed to honor God in my life. Your Excellency, I cannot appreciate you enough and I must say that His Excellency Governor Wike is only playing the first one, thinking because my governor, my own governor, as my brother had said, Raj GSAN, engineer C. Makinde, had hosted me to a lavishing dinner in Ibadan, to which he invited his brothers of the integrity group, they were all there. They saw what he did because he felt proud and he had said it even at the filler when I was sworn in. Nevertheless, I must thank you very, very much, Your Excellency and your amiable wife, for this honor. I am not in Port Accord for the dinner. Not at all. I was invited as the chairman and the chief justice of Nigeria to come and commission the newly erected license office of the Federal Judicial Service Commission. And most importantly, to appreciate His Excellency Dr. Peter Odili, 
who is the husband of Mama Mary Odile, C-O-N, JSC retired, CFR, 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 I beg your pardon, CFR. But many people will appreciate that His Excellency Governor Wuke is a lover of the judiciary. There's no doubt about that. And he deserves commendation anywhere. <laughs> nobody, nobody as a group, as individual, no governor in Nigeria has done near what he has done in Nigeria for judiciary. <laughs> Whether you like him or not, the legacies that His Excellency is bestowing to the generations of born will be hard to beat. And that's why, you know, he, he says it all. Anytime he has opportunity to say it, he said, yes, he will not be in office forever. But whatever time he has to spend in office, let it be spent very well. And that's why all these things that His Excellency has been doing is to put on record that human beings can at any time do far better. I was telling somebody, I said, His Excellency started, you know, far away from being council chairman, you know, like that, like that. And the Lord saw it in him, a son that is worth raising up. I have no doubt that the sky is still the limit for Your Excellency. The sky is the limit. The whole world has seen what you can do. The whole world has seen what you are doing. And we want replica, you know. And it has to be replicated. So, I thank everybody because I'm greatly surprised to see my brother justices of the, court, of the Supreme Court particularly retired, to have flown all the way to honor those to whom honors are due. The family of Peter Odile had always been honored. I remember I was there to represent the Chief Justice of Nigeria when a wonderful university was commissioned by the Odili family. I led some of my brother justices also of the Supreme Court. And I'm sure the university has continued to work stronger and stronger. And uh, I, I learned that the pledge that was uh, given by His Excellency, that time had been fulfilled. And His Excellency has also done more. This is another occasion to build an institute in memory of somebody who has left service, who was greatly honored outside and now to be honored back home. What a great prophet in that. My Lord, Mary Peter Odili, JSC, CFR, you are great, and you remain very great. 
We shall all see it tomorrow. The great things are available to happen and they will continue to happen. This man, I understand, will continue to commission projects till his last day in office. There are projects wide open all over the place. And that's why we should not be scared to have this men of integrity group and i'm happy that uh, my home governor is one because you know he will he will try to imitate his friend and in-law because we came here to marry f f for my governor you know so his excellency governor wiki will always threaten that he will, he will call back his uh, sister if uh, my governor fails to play ball and that's why if you see him following His Excellency, <laughs> my governor is afraid, you know, of his wife being recalled. So please, uh, I saw Governor Wike almost uh, mad with people. We have kept people waiting for too long. I shall not keep you waiting further. You were invited for dinner and it's almost getting late for dinner. Please enjoy your dinner, some to us one, and God bless you. We we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the first family of the state will lead dignitaries of the high table to dinner while members of the protocol department will be on hand to lead all their distinguished, distinguished guests to dinner. Thank you. <laughs>